If you want to use edge panels or the sidebar on Samsung Galaxy A56 5G, then first of all, we can make sure that the panel is enabled. So let's go to settings, choose display, and then scroll down until you find edge panels. So let's immediately tap on this option uh, because over here, of course, we can enable and disable the edge panels function. Then we can also go to the handle in order to customize our handle over here. I'm going to actually make it less transparent, transparent so that it is visible. There we go. And let's make it uh, maybe not as thick. We can, of course, choose the color as well, but I'm going to stick with the white one. And here we can also just go to panels in order to decide what should be added to the uh, sidebar, what should be available. By default, we only have apps, but of course we can add contacts, tasks, and so on and so forth. And if you choose any of these options, then you also have the edit option so you can customize and choose exactly what should be on that panel. So let's actually go to edit. Besides that, you can also um, move the sidebar towards the middle. So swipe it towards the middle in order to reveal the sidebar. And you can press this pen at the bottom in order to also customize uh, what is on the sidebar. And you can, of course, decide to add apps or remove them pretty easy. You can simply tap on the apps to manage them. You can tap on these four, uh, three dots in the top right corner to find additional options. Uh, for example, we have the AI Select, which is actually enabled by default, so we can turn it off over here. We can also include recent apps as well and show or hide app names. And that is essentially it. So as you can see, if we swipe it towards the middle, we show the edge panels and we can customize it pretty easily. Over here, we can also tap on these dots that we have next to the pen in order to show the full list of apps. So this is like an app drawer. It is actually app drawer because we also have folders from the app drawer. So we have a quick access to app drawer as well without having to exit the home screen. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.